<laughs> Welcome to another edition of A Quick Click and we are here at the Hilton at the Vagina Monologues, Corel. Yes, it is a, the, the, the quick, the click is taking a very serious turn yes. tonight as we talk about a very serious issue that's mm -hmm. happening in our society and society is the world over. Definitely, that's gender-based violence, violence against women, domestic abuse. It's something that needs to be spoken about as much as possible. So I'm so happy that we're shedding light on such a heavy topic in this quickly. And how we handle this situation, I mean, it's been addressed now. We've seen it making headlines yep, recently from definitely. political circles mm -hmm. and social circles. So it is a very important issue. We want to tell you out there that you should never suffer in silence and that there are places as well that offer help. And so we're going to go inside and see what the Vagina Monologues is about. I love that name, by the way. <laughs> See you soon. Ladies, Bob is the most ordinary man. He was built strong but nondescript. He wore tacky gray pants. <laughs> He didn't like spicy foods. He didn't even listen to Prince. No, I'm serious. He didn't like sexy lingerie. <laughs> I can't talk to you about down there. You just know it's there. Like a seno. <laughs> There's rumbles and you can't hear the pipes. <laughs> And things get caught in there, like the animals and things. And it gets wet. And sometimes people have to plug up these. Wait, wait, wait. Not yet. Whoa. You ever seen a fish cut open? And then you discover this really bloody complex system right underneath the skin? Okay, and we're here with Duran Thompson from the Bahamas Crisis Center. Now, tell us a little bit about um, this production and what this means for raising awareness for, you know, gender-based violence and violence against women. Well, you know, our work at the Bahamas Crisis Center is, that is a part of our work. And uh, the challenge in the Bahamas is that most of the most of the, the abuse is done by men towards women. That's just the reality of it. And so tonight this is so important because what's happening is it brings awareness to the, to the type of abuse and to the type of challenges that women go through inside this country. And we're talking beyond just physical abuse, right? Abuse takes so many forms. You have physical abuse, you have financial abuse, you have emotional abuse. When we hear the word of abuse, most people just think of physical abuse, but it stretches far further than just physical abuse. And what's the importance of men like yourself and Corvell getting involved in this fight, not just, you know, sitting on the sidelines? It's easier when a man goes to a man and says, hey, come on, man, you shouldn't be doing that. It's better received from, a, from another man. So it, it really is going to take men, in my opinion, to really come forward and to really stop this, this issue of, of abuse against women. All right, so we've managed to catch up with a few of the cast members of the Vagina Monologues, and we have with us Sarah, Sam, Tanae, Diane, and so 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 Great job, everybody. Yes. Really enjoyed the, play of the, the monologues are great. The plays are great. I mean, how did you guys feel performing tonight? Scared. <laughs> Scared? <laughs> and excited. It's like electric out there. Everyone, The energy is awesome. Mm -hmm. It yeah, is. They're really, really receptive. You're touching on some very strong themes in your presentations. Very I mean, tell, touchy subjects. Tell us what that was like. The angry vagina. Which <laughs> My vagina's angry. Um, no, you know what? It's awesome because so many people can relate. And if, it can't, if someone can't relate to the whole thing, they can find something to relate to. And it's like lighthearted, but it's also deep. And it's tender. And it's just, it's, it feels amazing to be able to represent for so many different people who maybe don't feel like they have that voice to scream out how angry they are.
So the Greg has spent some time really dealing with a very topical issue yes. and a very important issue, uh, the issue of abuse and gender-based abuse. Definitely, right? and I'm definitely glad that we did it, you know, because, you know, people see us partying a lot, but, you know, we are here for a cause and we are here to raise awareness for a lot of things that's going on in the country. So I'm so happy that the Bahamas Crisis Center, Bahamas Artists Movement put on this event and they did it last year. I missed it last year, so that's why I'm happy it came this year. All right, so that takes care of business for now. Remember, the only way to get in is to click on. We'll see you next time. Bye.